I knew Jan was dangerous, but I couldn't bring myself to do anything about it. Somebody had to do something. <laughs> there is drama unfolding in the North Carolina mountains. It's terrible what I've got to tell you. Perhaps a murder mystery. I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing. Maybe even a comedy or musical from time to time. Since 1952, close to four million ticket holders have enjoyed crossing the bridge of suspended disbelief into another place in time. Here at Flat Rock Playhouse, a theatrical treasure that's becoming more widely known with each passing performance. The curtain falls this night on the final performance of Agatha Christie's The Unexpected Guest, and theatergoers are barely out the door when a sudden rush of activity descends on the stage. Every last remnant of tonight's production is being stripped away in preparation for a new play. Take that on out. A little over 72 hours from now, the curtain rises on Leading Ladies, a hilarious new play by Ken Ludwig. And although it looks like chaos, it's actually an organized combination of technicians, volunteers, and students from the theater's teaching program. Part of their program is to provide extra technical support for strikes where we need the most manpower. That's out now. One, two, Three, go. One of the stars of this set transition is a movable floor that rolls on and off stage as needed. While all of this is going on, <laughs> intensity of a different sort is happening in a nearby rehearsal hall. Wait, it slipped my mind. <sighs> Duncan! For the last two weeks, the director and cast have been fine tuning parts and personalities. But that's what Father said! There needs to be a certain sense of danger, okay. right, that you are actually going to succeed. The director has an overall view, I think, when they go into the rehearsal process, and it's a matter of trying to marry what you know about the actor or, or actress you've never worked with and figure out how they work. And so you're trying to blend all of these different styles in a single rehearsal process. But I'm in love with Audrey. What? We can go to Los Angeles, get another start, get a, uh, we can go to Los Angeles, get another start. What is the line? The trickiest part of our process here is indeed when they're rehearsing a show and performing the show that's running currently. So they're having to keep two things in their head at the same time. They're keeping the characters and the lines from the show that's on stage, as well as trying to marry themselves to brand new characters. Be careful. He might be listening to us. At the end of the last run, it's really nice to put down the book and put on the new costumes, and when all that happens, the new character really finds its legs. Richard would have said so. He would have laughed about it. You are the worst doctor that ever lived. <laughs> I think for me, finding what kind of shoes do they wear? What does the hair look like? What, you know, what kind of posture? And all of a sudden, ideas begin to come, and then your voice, I think, just sort of catches up with it. Aren't they beautiful? To me, it's just sort of like compartmentalizing the brain, going, all right, for these two hours, I'm this, and for this, then I'm there. Florence, if you don't stay in the bed, you are going to die. How would you know? Because I'm going to strangle you to death. Doc in this is the friendly neighborhood curmudgeon, and then he gets enamored of one of the leading ladies. Yes, she wants me, not you. I don't know why, but for some reason, I always tend to be the one in the show that has to end up dressed as a woman. I will not dress up as a woman. No, I will not dress up as a woman. I don't do that, ever. <laughs> And I don't know if it's because I, I make such a hideous woman and, and uh, people like to see an ugly woman on stage. I don't know. <laughs> My character really is Leo Clark, who's an actor, uh, loves what he does, loves his craft, but has not had a lot of luck in what he's doing. So he sort of finds an opportunity to um, make some quick money. If it be not to come, it will be now. Which involves becoming a woman. For a million dollars, the question is, which dress do you wear? Stop it. And they both are basically trying to rip this woman off of her inheritance money, uh, posing as the nephews, the long-lost nephews, but it turns out they're actually the nieces. No, they're not men, they're girls. Their real names are Maxine and Stephanie. 
unfortunately, the thing that really screws it up is we fall in love with two girls who are also related to the matron of the house. I came here to take your money. I know that. By late Monday, barely 48 hours till opening night, the set, lights, and props are about ready for the actors. On Tuesday, in the early afternoon, there's a technical rehearsal where technicians can practice their cues, and actors who are in the play that closed on Sunday can settle into their new characters. My only sunshine. I think you've had too much fun. Director Betsy Bisson is now watching for rough spots in the blocking or ways to make it flow more smoothly. You have to wait for her to get down or should we have other things? You see each other at the top of the stairs. There's just that moment of screen okay. and then it's a run together while he's doing the line. <laughs> On Tuesday evening, a specially invited audience comes for a dress rehearsal. Performing in front of a real audience for the first time gives cast and crew a jump right in and try it way to test their work so far. How did you know that? How did you know that? Who told you? <laughs> Will you rise to the occasion? Will you fulfill your destiny and save your best friend from a life of crushing disappointment and defeat? Yes or no? No. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. The challenge of staging a Broadway quality show in an improbably short time is something that's been happening here in the area ever since Rob Roy Farquhar and his wife first came to the Blue Ridge Mountains around Hendersonville during the 1940s. My dad was working in winter stock in Florida, met a lady, said, North Carolina is a great place for summer stock. Nobody believed it. The theater shouldn't actually work in, in Flat Rock, North Carolina, but it does. Things finally came together on The Rock in 1952, and for the first four years at the site, productions were mounted in a rented circus tent. Since then, Flat Rock Playhouse has grown in fits and starts, and in the long run has thrived, while becoming an important and attractive venue for actors. I'll make sure that everything's all right. We're grateful for our reputation, particularly with the acting community all over the country actors tell actors you want to work there and we are lucky enough to have a lot of actors say go to Flat Rock. And that's final! There's such a community spirit here it's not just the actors it's everybody who works here and because of that I think everybody works that much harder. They went straight in the toilet! When I first came here we used to say that coming to Flat Rock was the reward an actor got for surviving one more year in the business. So the last 14 years I've been rewarded every year by being able to come back here Oh, you two stop it. Finally, the countdown is over. So very far right, please. Oh, right. The audience is arriving, and opening night is here. Hello, hello, my darlings. How wonderful to arrive at long last into the warm bosom of my own dear family. Brian and Scott, uh, Leo and Jack, no. Yes. No. Or is it Maxine and Stephanie? If we're men, we're in the clear. Have now mastered one more challenge. A lot of fast costume changes to keep the action moving at an improbable pace. The talent shows. From off stage to on stage, under the lights, or making sure they work. At Flat Rock Playhouse, every time a play goes up and makes its several week run, this theatrical company of heroes works through the thick and thin of it to make things happen in a thoroughly professional way. I am not finished with you! Get back in here! It's clear that today's Vagabond players love their craft, and the audience loves watching the product of their success. But isn't that what it's all about? Do that one. Yep. Good show, guys.